Uh, hey everyone. Well, it is Saturday. It has snowed and I am on my way to um, to the hospital to get an ECG done. I think that's what they call it, an echocardiogram anyways. So I gotta get that done and I'm trying to figure out what to eat. So I decided since I gotta go so quickly, I'm going to eat an, uh, yep, a banana. And <laughs> I'm gonna drink the rest of my water. Hey everyone, I am done uh, with my appointment and I will be, uh, I think I'll go and I'll grab a bite to eat, probably a, uh, a veggie and uh, chicken sub, or a veggie and ham sub, who knows, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> but uh, I'm starving so it's time to eat. It's cold and windy out here, wow. Oh, my hands are freezing off already. I should have worn gloves. <laughs> well, I'm back from my walk. <laughs> that didn't last long. The video actually cut out on my iPhone. Problem with 16 gigabyte iPhones is that they don't last very long. The storage, uh, the storage is used up so fast. And that stupid iCloud storage, oh my God. You know, it just gets used up so fast. So, and then it just says, um, storage full, you can't video or take photos. Okay, thanks. Thanks iPhone. Okay, so that video cut out on me while I was walking. Um, so I just wanted to go over my stretching routine with you. Okay, so it's a stretching routine. And the most important part of the stretching routine is the legs. Uh, doing the ankle circles. Uh, what else? Um, let's see, where are my legs? <coughs> calves so ankle uh, ankle curls and calf stretch against wall important um, that's because of my disease and my nerve problems um, just goes with the territory anyway so here's my stretching routine okay and I don't do all of these things uh, I just have a bunch of exercises or stretch uh, stretches that I can perform that I'm probably will probably do half of so the neck <clears throat> Sorry, I got dry throat today. So the neck will be uh, chin to chest stretch. Uh, you'll all, you'll also see this in another video. I'll show you you guys uh, what I'm doing. Uh, the side neck stretch. So I'll do both of those. Um, so for the shoulders, there's a lot here, and of course, like I said, I'll do a couple arm circles, uh, shoulder circles, elbow circles, shoulder stretch, uh, upward stretch. Okay, so that's for the shoulders, uh, and that's actually good for me because I have frozen shoulders, so they say. Uh, they say, I have, my doctor says I have frozen shoulders, and I say I don't, <laughs> but the doctor's always right. Uh, we never did any tests. Uh, he won't do tests because he thinks he's right all the time. Yeah, sounds like a few girlfriends I've had in the past. So, anyway, uh, he's a dick, and that's all I have to say. Scratch that, guys. I didn't say that. Okay. What's uh, what I think is really wrong with my shoulders is is the fact that the brain disease that I have actually affects the shoulder joints. Uh, it kind of mimics um, nerve problems, or it also mimics uh, arthritis. So we don't really know. I don't really know what it is. He won't do tests. So, anyways, uh, so the the shoulder exercises are perfect. Okay, triceps, triceps side stretch. Uh, for the lats, one arm against wall, so I repeat on both arms. Uh, for the forearms, it's kneeling forearm stretch. And for the chest, it's dynamic uh, chest stretch and standing lateral stretch. Oh, sorry, <laughs> there's only one chest. That was abdominal. So chest would be dynamic stretch, uh, chest stretch, and then abdominal would be standing lateral stretch, okay? Uh, for the upper back is upper back stretch, uh, middle back is the mid back stretch. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. And I'm not sure why iPhone decided to start working. Okay. Uh I Siri just started talking to me for nothing. A little weird. Okay. 
Um, where was I? Lower lower back is cat stretch, and then the standing uh, pelvic tilt. And then for hamstrings, it's the 90 by 90 hamstring stretch. And then for abductors, it's standing leg abduction. And then for the last uh, would be the ankles, the, like I said earlier, ankle circles and calf stretch against wall. So if you need to look those up, go for it. But you will see me do them in another video. Um, now, I don't have, I'm not talking about what I'm eating because right now I'm just, I'm just eating normal food. I'm not doing any program with the eating right now. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, my arm's killing me today. Uh, because, well, I need to perfect what I'm doing. And the thing is, is when it comes to the food, I'm trying to, um, trying to, uh, what do you call that, prepare my meals ahead of time. And I find it actually pretty difficult. I don't know how some of you guys do this, but actually coming up with the exact macros. I don't, I'm not, I don't have to be exact, but coming up with the macros, preparing your meals, or uh, trying to think about what meals you're going to have before you, and then prepare them before the week starts, you know. So I, I just... Uh, I find that difficult to do, and uh, so I'm, I'm racking my brain about it. Um, and the program that I want to start is uh, calling for a lot of potatoes. And seriously, uh, I am IR, so I'm ir uh, insulin resistant. And um, what I want to do is I'm taking down my carbs, bringing up my fat a little bit. No good fats, not bad fats. And uh, keeping the <coughs> keeping the uh, the protein a little bit lower, not much than what my uh, than what I'm supposed to have through each day. So uh, that's my that's my goal. But coming up with uh, the ideas for meals is kind of tough because the program gives you a ton of ideas, but it's all it's it's meat and potatoes. You know, um, meat fine, but potatoes, like, I, I can't be eating that many potatoes. Uh, there's a lot of carbs in this uh, meal plan, so what I need to do is take that down. And so that's what I'm trying to do. So when I perfect that, guys, then I will tell you what I'm eating, okay? And what I'll be eating will be on a, every day, same time every single day, two meals, one smaller portion and one really large portion and then fruit in between um so there you have it uh do i have anything else i want to tell you before i go well i can go over just a little bit i got it all on paper uh just a little bit how my day will look like i'll wake up in the morning i'll do my stretching routine i'll get on the treadmill i'll have some coffee um and if that day calls for weightlifting, I'll weightlift weights. And then I'll have my fruit snack. And um, while I'm waiting for my my first meal, I will have I'll do some chores or whatever I need to do around the house because I'm home. I don't I don't work. And then I'll have my small meal, and that's going to be about two or three o'clock. I'm going to go for a walk uh, outside because you don't want to be on the treadmill all day. <laughs> you know, you don't want to sit in the house all day, right? Um, then I go I have my large meal about five about five hours or so after my first meal. Uh, might go for another walk or do the rest of my chores, whatever I feel like doing. Maybe I have to do at this point uh, um, between my large meal and my bedtime, which will be my next fruit snack, which is just before bed. And so between that time I have like I could do anything I can go for a walk and go on the treadmill again I could uh, uh, another stretch routine just to keep you know keep myself stretched <laughs> and uh, loose uh, I could do rest of my chores I could uh, edit these videos you know just anything any everyday life stuff and then I have my fruit snack before bed, and 10, 10 o'clock is, is my cutoff time, so that'll be my uh, my snack at that time, 10 o'clock at night. So, and then after that, uh, I go to bed about midnight, get up the next morning, and do it all over again. 
So that's what the routine is going to look like. Okay, so not much to say, not much more to say to you guys. Um, yeah, just drinking my water right now. Take, I gotta take my pills, and uh, I'm out of here. So have a good day, guys. Bye.